welcome Aquarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. We're doing your November 2021 tarot reading and we're jumping straight into predictions. Now let's see what's coming towards you. Oh, you've got the King of Air, which is either being in a relationship with somebody who's emotionally unavailable right now or you're feeling emotionally unavailable to relationships. All right, you got three here. You got the eight of water, which is a desire to move on, do something more meaningful, can mean significant life events, leaving challenges behind, going in a new life direction. He's leaving all the empty cups behind. He's taking one cup with him. He's a faithful companion. Can mean moving, relocating. You've also got the Knight of Water, which is passionate new love rushing in. So it kind of feels like some of you may be leaving a relationship that really wasn't emotionally fulfilling you and there's new love on the horizon. Um, he's spilling his cup everywhere. Yes, a very passionate love offer coming in. And you've also got the Eight of Earth, which is toiling away in your coin, putting in the hard work. Some of you are studying to get on the right path. And if you enjoy my readings, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell to make sure they come through to you in your feed. Oh, this is gorgeous. You've got the nine of earth. Again, more coin. So if you're in your own business, it represents successful self-employment, prosperity coming in, the ability to spend some money on yourself, luxury items. Oh, here we go again. You've got the one of water. So she's extending her cup. Certainly represents new love. Either you're extending your cup to someone or they're extending it to you. It can certainly also, again, represent a new home. And you've got the Queen of Water, so much watery energy. Uh, she's got a tarot deck by her side. She's, like, looking off to the horizon, trusting the spiritual guidance that comes your way, heightened intuitive psychic abilities, deep love of family, friendships can represent yourself. It can represent someone you're connecting with. Okay. you got the four of water, which is focusing on the negative or the spilt cups versus the opportunities around you. There's an angel behind him, behind the tree with a extending a cup. Yeah, so when you, Spirit's saying when you focus on things that haven't worked out, you can't see and be open to new opportunities, um, even if, particularly if it's related to love. You've also got transformation going on, yeah, significant life event leading to change or knowing you need to change. And you've got the seven of water. Oh, so much water energy. Um, there's a choice that needs to be made, a decision that needs to be made, and some of you are procrastinating over it. So we'll dive into that deeper. Huh? And make sure to hang around to the end because we're going to go into your next episode, which is the uh, extended version of this reading, which everyone can get access to. All right, we're going to put you some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Firstly, let's have a look at this connection here that's not mostly about unavailable, which could be you, it could be someone else. feels like it's someone else's energy. Okay, you got four here. Uh, it's created sleepless nights and anxiety in your life. So perhaps there's been a relationship that you've wanted to leave or in the process of leaving. Uh, Spirit's calling for you to have temperance at this time. Make sure you're in balance before you make any major life decisions. You've also got the magician, which is you've got everything within you to create the life you want to create. She's got four balls in front of her. Can't do everything. So where do you want to focus your time, your energy? can also represent the... Synchronistic events, resources, opportunities coming your way. It's going to help you on your path. And you've also got the fool, which is taking a leap of faith, going after what it is that you want. All right, let's have a look at, uh, dare I say, focusing on the negative here. Any guidance there? Oh, you've got the three of emotions, which is saying connect with your friendships, lean on your friendships for support at this time. And you've got the Knight of Emotions sitting under the Knight of Water. Again, you love rushing in. 
Very fast, darlings. <laughs> oh, you're either going to rush your cup off to someone or they're rushing their cup in towards you. You've also got the Ace of Inspiration. So Spirit's saying trust your inspired ideas at this time. It's going to bring in the success, the prosperity that you're looking for, but you get to action on them. All right, let's have a look at this transformation you're going through. Oh, you've got the Muse of Voices, which is the king in this deck, mirrored image. So acting with integrity in accordance with your own values, any choices you need to make be in alignment with who you are. And you've got the queen of inspiration, being a visionary. You've got something in your heart space, some of you, um, and related to your inspired ideas that you want to create. Very gorgeous energy. All right, let's have a look at this choice you need to make. Oh, Spirit's saying just to rely on your strength at this time. You're stronger than you think you are, so your strength, your courage, if you've got a decision to make. And you've got the world here, which represents cycle completions, brand new fresh start in your life, chapter in your life. It certainly represent travel. There's a lot here about relocating, moving. you got the nine of materials, which is self-made success. Some of you definitely in your own business, yeah, being very proud of your achievements. Certainly represents material wealth. And you've got the seven of inspiration. She's in a macabre of protection. So protecting what you've created, not giving up right now. All right, let's put you some messages from your angels. And if you need extra guidance and support at this time, reach out for personal reading. I'll put a link on here, info down below. You've got positive thinking is vital to creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. It says don't worry, think love, particularly those of you focusing on the negative versus the opportunities around you. Oh, you've also got destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. So... Being the best you can be, expansion, personal growth, and trust. All will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect, and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you will ever know, particularly those of you going through significant life changes, yeah? All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle in terms of energies to focus on for November. Oh, darlings, you got the message to make a decision. On one side, it's paved in gold. The other side's full of colour. So there's no right or wrong choice, whatever he feels more heart-centred in the moment. When you stay in states of indecision, you slightly send yourself a little crazy, yeah, because it just creates more stress and anxiety in your life. So Spirit's saying you need to make a decision. Oh, and you've got culmination of vision. Some of you have been working really hard and it's all coming together, particularly those of you working in your own business, studying, oh, and to know that you're worth it, worthy of a beautiful love relationship, worthy of blessings coming your way, all the good things in life. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. Highest nice level guidance at this time. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me bring it close. You've pulled the Velvet Queen. How gorgeous is that? Such soft, muted energies. A lot of gold there. And let's pull you up the guidance. Don't forget to hang around to the end to get the next episode, which is your extended reading. Available to everyone. Mm -hmm. It says Aquarius. A rare prize is to be bestowed upon you. Oh, hello. <laughs> Open those hands and hearts up to receive. The universe is confirming that the most luscious dreams of your heart are being nurtured into manifestation. To this end, you'll be given a saving grace and intervention if it needs be. To be open to receive, to surrender doubt in favor of unconditional trust. Through trust and optimism, you make it easier for the universe to give you a most deserved gift. 
and a rare prize is worth the effort to attain it. Your efforts will need to include loving discipline. And loving discipline is not about trying to bend the world according to your own will, but rather readying yourself to align with spirit of what you want to receive. And to receive rather than attempt to take by force requires strength, trust, spiritual intelligence and courage. It's easier to try and force things from a fearful place, but it's more effective and empowering to learn how to attract and receive through consciously chosen surrender. It allows the universe to do its best work for you. And to surrender is not about passivity, but doing all you can and trusting life enough to let go and allow the outcome to be what it will. Surrendering is not giving up. It's about trusting there is a great and generous intelligence expressing itself through our lives and if open to it great treasures are bestowed upon us so the discipline spoken of here is about changing your consciousness it asks you to release issues around self-worth why should you not be empowered and assisted by the universe to create a life that fills you with joy and feels just right for you release any lack of self-worth that would get in your way of opening up to complete trust in the universe and the Velvet Queen assists in shifting the mind from scarcity to prosperity consciousness, where we can feel and receive precious gifts with an easy, open attitude, neither holding on to them out of fear nor pushing them away out of shame or guilt. And when she enters your life, she brings a sign that abundance is headed your way. This might manifest itself in many and varied ways, in financial wealth, career opportunities, increased love and affection in your relationships, or a sense of living in the rich fullness of life, spiritually as well as emotionally and materially. And she indicates a prize that is worth attaining. It is said the sweetest fruit is at the top of the tree, therefore worth the climb. And she lets you know that your most prized dream is within reach through a combination of letting life unfold as it will and through your own disciplined efforts. So don't give up. You cannot make the fruit on the tree grow faster. It will happen according to the rhythm of life, but you can certainly do your part to be ready to climb that tree at the right moment and savor the sweetness of success. Oh, how gorgeous, darlings. There's a healing ritual here. I think it would be really important to do because it's going to help you open up to receive. Yes. Yeah? So it says to say this statement aloud. Just listen. I release all fears and judgments I've ever made in this or any lifetime about material possessions, a fear of loss, a fear of greed, a fear of distraction, a fear of attachment. I open my hands and my heart to receive all I need when I need it for as long as I need it to live my beautiful and unique life path you're now going to visualize imagine feel or pretend you can breathe in and out through your entire body you can inhale deeply not only through your mouth and nose but also through your skin and as you inhale gently you take in the gift of life and as you exhale gently not only out of your mouth and nose but also through the pores of your skin you easily release what you no longer need even if you don't consciously know what that is do this for several moments and when you're feeling relaxed and clearer, then say this affirmation. I receive a sweet and rare prize destined to be mine. Through the power of love divine, you finished your healing ritual. It also says I am strong and have surrendered into the perfection of life's loving grace. Oh darling, something amazing coming your way, but you've got to match your vibration to it. Be open to it. Certainly love, certainly money coming your way. Oh, your extended is going to be super interesting, which is coming up next. So make sure to go and check that out. Available to everyone. And we're jumping straight into your general energies in the extended.